Good morning all. Today we are going to make an enclosed space entry for the bilge holding tank. Before that we should know what is an enclosed space. It is a space which is having limited openings for entry and exit. A space which is having inadequate ventilation. The space is not designed for continuous worker occupancy. Prior entry into an enclosed space for any maintenance, repair or inspection purpose, hazard identification, risk assessment and risk control need to be carried out. Risk assessment is done to identify the hazard and the later used to analyze and evaluate the risk associated with the hazard. Now we will discuss about the documentation of hazards and necessary safety measures and the control options. As a part of safety preparation, locking out of valves and pumps both electrically and mechanically has to be carried out. Notices forbidding action has to be posted. Proper isolation of the enclosed area has to be efficiently carried out. Because the position of the space adjacent to this tank holds pipes which is not secured could impose a danger. Prior opening the manhole door of the respective tanks, the tank soundings should be checked and ensure the tanks are empty and the respective tank air vent arrangements has to be checked for. Proper safety procedures need to be followed while opening both the manhole doors. Allow sufficient time for the space to be thoroughly ventilated, naturally or mechanically. Guards should be placed on any opening into the enclosed space to prevent falls accidentally or any unauthorized entry has to be avoided. The space will be adequately illuminated and the attendant at the enclosed space entrance has to be appointed. Communication has to be established between bridge and the entry point and the entry point and the entry person. All personnel involved are aware of the task and the various hazards. Sufficient ventilation is carried out by the intrinsically safe blowers. And now let us go for testing the enclosed space atmosphere. Before testing the enclosed space tank atmosphere, 10 minutes prior the testing, the atmospheric ventilation should be stopped. The atmospheric content has to be checked for the oxygen content, the presence of flammable gases and the toxic gases or vapors. Enclosed space atmospheric testing equipments are calibrated and certified. 21% of oxygen by volume by an oxygen content meter has to be checked for. If oxygen level falls below 18%, the person entering in the tank will feel shortness of breath, headache, dizziness, rapid breathing, chest pain, confusion, high blood pressure, lack of coordination and even visual disorders. While testing for flammable gases, not more than 1% of lower flammability limit on a suitable sensitive combustible gas indicator is allowed. Where the preliminary assessment has determined that there is a potential for flammable gases or vapors. Not more than 50% of occupational exposure limit of any toxic vapors and gases is allowed while checking for toxic gases in the atmosphere. If these conditions cannot be met, Additional ventilation should be applied to the space and the retesting should be conducted after a suitable interval of time. Testing instruments should be able to measure the presence of carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulfide because even 2 to 5 ppm hydrogen sulfide in the atmosphere can cause headache, nausea, and teary eyes. Tests should be carried out at different levels of the enclosed space. The top the middle and the bottom and through as many as opening as possible. Tests should be carried out at different levels of the enclosed space. To obtain a representative sample of the atmosphere in the space, methane gas rises to the top 
as it is lighter than air. Carbon monoxide stays in the middle as it is of same weight as air. Carbon dioxide sinks to the bottom as it is heavier than air. A proper permit to work has to be filled up and checklist to be checked so as to prevent any accident which can endanger a life. A confined space entry should be made with an authorized and issued permit by a trained and competent person. The permission to work in an enclosed space specifies the location of the work, the nature and the limitation of the work. Details of the working team and the tools to be used, potential hazards, precautions are taken, protective equipment to be used, time of issue and its validity, agreed communication methods and intervals, signature of the person on issuing the permit and on the completion of the work, and the precautions to be observed. Permit to work is valid only for certain period of time. If the time period expires, then again a new permit is to be issued and the checklist is to be filled out. The permit to work has to be checked, permitted by the master or the chief engineer of the ship in order to work in a confined space. These are the lifelines which enables the entry person to keep in contact with the person outside by sending probe signals. They are standard lifeline signals. One pull, stop, keep moving, OK if at rest, two pull, advance, three pulls, come out at once, four pulls, distress, come at once. Resuscitation equipment are in place. Rescue equipment such as Kaba. Self contained breathing apparatus. This should be approved type. In this cylinder contains approximately 1240 liters of free air compressed to give approximately 31 minutes of full air usage time and 21 minutes of working duration under normal circumstances. A reducing wall is connected after the cylinders to reduce the pressure to approximately about 4 bars. This pressure is further reduced by demand wall, which is attached to the mask of bearer. The demand wall supplies air to the bearer when he inhales and closes when he exhales. An exhalation wall releases the exhaled air from the face mask. When approximately 10 minutes of air is left in the cylinder, a warning whistle will sound continuously, warning the user that his air supply would soon be over and he has to move out. These warning signals will sound continuously till the air in the cylinder will the breather so that the bearer do not need to turn his head constantly. A gauge is provided to indicate the press over. The face mask is made up of molded rubber with a series of adjustable rubber straps to secure it to the head of the wearer and fitted with quick release arrangements. Check the face mask, rubber strap and other rubber parts for any damage. Should have a good picture of the air in the cylinder. The pre-operational checks in the Kaba need to be carried out before put it into the face. Those are high pressure leak test and diesel warning unit test. This is emergency escape breathing device simply to be called as EBD or self-contained compressed air apparatus which supply the entered person with breathable oxygen to help them safely escape from the contamination area on a ship. This have minimum service time of only 10 minutes. This is Neil Robertson structure which is one of the rescue and the resuscitation equipment 
it has to it has to be kept at the entrance to the space for using emergency this entrance cycle is set two way walkie talkie established the communication between bridge and entry point and entry point and entry person so yeah double button tag entry manual report double button tag entry man report i am raising the communication okay Binging arrangement has to be kept standby as in case of emergency to lift casualty by using Neil Robertson stretcher. Medical first aid kit has to be kept standby. Approved and certified type live harness has to be done by the entry persons. Upon proper ventilation. and confirmation of sufficient oxygen content in the atmosphere and absence of toxic gases and flammable gases and the necessary standby equipments being arranged at the entry point the responsible supervising personnel reports to the responsible competent person for signing the enclosed space entry permit the authorized responsible officer carefully studies the filled in details of the permit and gives a briefing on the precautions and additional safeties to be followed by the entry persons and the attendant confirming the same the responsible officer signs the duly filled permit okay go ahead come back safely safety 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 thank you all the best the duly signed permit should be posted in the vicinity of the enclosed space entry area prior entry checks before entry made by the person ensure that person need to fulfill 100% personal protective equipment emergency escaping breathing device walkie talkie approved type handheld torch with full charged condition need to carry life harness with life line and pocket type multi gas detector need to be carried along with him all the enclosed air bags have been checked and everything is done by the person all the correct activity has been done by the person if there is a problem with the proper pg bridge coming Oiler one entered into bridge holding tank. Nine thirty PP checked. Tank atmosphere checked. Oxygen content twenty one percentage. No toxic gas present. Okay, second so copy that. Entry into enclosed space of bridge holding tanks commences at zero nine three zero hours. Oiler A entered at zero nine three zero. Oxygen content twenty one percent. No toxic gases present. Copy that. Bridge coming. Oil and number two entered into bridge holding tank. Nine forty. PP checked. Oxygen content. Twenty-one percentage. No toxic gases present. Okay, second so copy that. Oil B entered at zero nine four zero hours. Oxygen content twenty-one percent and no toxic gases. Copy. Oil one coming. Is everything okay? Yes, again everything okay. Bridge coming. Second engineer reporting from bridge holding tank. Entered persons are okay. Okay, second so copy that. All okay at bridge holding tank. Bridge coming. Oiler one and two has come out from the enclosed space at ten fifteen. All persons are okay. Okay, second. Oiler one and oiler two has come out of the enclosed space at ten fifteen hours. Entries have been made in entry log record.
bridge coming both the manhole door has been secured against man entry at 10:20 okay second copy that area has been secured against man entry at 10:20 bridge coming respective wall and pumps breaker for the enclosed space has been put back normal condition tack removed entry permit closed at 10:30 okay second all walls and pump breakers for bridge holding tank has been put back to normal operation and enclosed space entry permit closed at 10:30 hours copy that thank you sir captain sir please come on Yes, go ahead. Bridge reporting, sir. Enclosed space entry into bilge holding tank has been completed and permit closed at 10:30 hours. All went well, sir. Timings has been recorded in the enclosed space entry log book. Okay, copy. Thank you, sir. Later, the duly filled permit is filed in the respective enclosed space entry permit file as a part of record keeping. Thank you for watching the safety awareness video. made by the staff and cadets of HMT college further spread the safety awareness video to all the seafarers around the globe thank you